As the aviation world continues to shift, Airbus is gearing up for a major leap forward with its potential new widebody, the A350-2000. This would be a stretched version of the already successful A350-1000 and could be a game changer in the long haul market. With the Paris Air Show 2025, PAS 2025, just around the corner, talk of the A350-2000 is building momentum. The timing has generated a wave of interest across the aviation industry and among enthusiasts. This new aircraft is shaping up to be a direct response to Boeing's 777X and the rising demand for more efficient, high-capacity jets. Airbus's A350-1000 currently seats up to 369 passengers. But based on a concept shared by A350 Blog on X, the A350-2000 might include fuselage plugs to stretch its length, potentially adding about 40 more seats. That would bring the capacity close to 400 to 410 passengers, putting it right in line with Boeing's 777X. It's also expected to feature a Type C emergency exit and some aerodynamic tweaks to the wing for better efficiency. We might also see upgrades to the engines, likely a more powerful version of the Rolls Royce Trent XWB, which already powers the A350 family. A bump in the aircraft's maximum takeoff weight. MTOW, is expected to support the longer fuselage and additional payload. Speaking on the importance of this upgrade, the Airbus CEO noted, the new A350 variant would provide even greater range and capacity, which is becoming more important in an increasingly crowded aviation market. This makes it clear, the A350-2000 is about more than just stretching an existing airframe. It's a bold move to grab a bigger slice of the ultra-long-haul, high-capacity market. The changes are expected to be evolutionary rather than revolutionary, allowing Airbus to build on the A350-1000's proven tech. Strategically placed fuselage plugs would handle the added stress, and the new exit ensures safety regulations are met. Modifying the wings could also boost lift and help with fuel burn, crucial for long-distance routes. On the power plant side, the current Trent XWB97 produces 97,000 pounds of thrust. For the A350-2000, Airbus may need to optimize this engine or even consider a next-gen variant. A stronger landing gear and structural reinforcements might also be required, though the A350-1000 already offers a strong base. If Airbus can avoid major changes to wings or engines the A350-2000's development path could be relatively smooth. Depending on how operators plan to use it, current MTOW specs might even allow Airbus to skip adding another exit, keeping complexity in check. The bigger picture. Airbus wants to go head-to-head -head with Boeing's 777X. That aircraft offers around 420 seats and promises excellent fuel efficiency. The A350-2000 seems designed to fill that same niche, and airlines looking to replace older jets like the Boeing 747 and Airbus A340 could be eyeing this as a top contender. Airlines in the Middle East and Asia-Pacific, which typically need long-range, high-capacity aircraft, are likely to show strong interest. The A350-2000 could make non-stop flights like Singapore-New York or Los Angeles-Doha more viable. Still, balancing range, fuel burn, and operating cost will be Airbus's biggest challenge. The original idea for a stretched A350 was shelved in 2016, but its revival shows Airbus's renewed confidence in the market. In the end, whether the A350-2000 will outshine Boeing's 777X or carve its own niche remains to be seen. But one thing is certain. This could be the next big thing in long-haul flying. Stay tuned for daily aviation news, exclusive analysis, and deep dives into the world of commercial aviation, airline orders, and premium air travel. If you're passionate about aircraft, wide-body jets, or traveling in style, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss an update.